Isha Yoga Center in Coimbatore is one of the peaceful and most organized places that I have ever seen. If you are planning to stay inside the center for few days, this video is for you. In this video, I am going to tell you about the booking procedure, the facilities that are present inside the center, the things that you can do inside the center and also few tips which are really helpful during your stay inside the ashram. Isha started hosting guests to stay inside the center recently from couple of years. We no need to book any yoga program or in an engineering program to stay inside the ashram. We can directly book the stay like any other hotel. For booking the stay, we need to visit cottage.isha.in website. Once we provide the date and number of rooms details, we will be shown the list of cottages and their availability on the dates we selected. Once you select the cottage and enter the required information, you can submit your enquiry. You will get an email to upload ID card. Once you have done that, your room will be confirmed. The important point here is you no need to pay a single rupee. The amount can be paid on the day of check-in only. If you want to cancel your plan, you can just drop a mail to them with your booking ID that you want to cancel your booking. They won't charge a single rupee for cancelling the booking. If you want to change your dates, you can drop a mail to them with your new dates and current booking ID. They will check for the availability of the rooms for your new dates and reply to you whether your request can be processed or not. The price of the rooms is very cheap. As of now, which is on June 2nd, 2023, the price for non-AC room for two people is 990 rupees only, which includes two times meals also. Now let's discuss about the categories of the room. Isha Yoga Center is very big. It is spread across 150 to 200 acres and these cottages are located at different places inside the ashram. As of now, Isha has five categories, Nalanda, Nadi, Alayam, Brahmaputra and Shivapadam. Out of these, Nalanda, Nadi, Alayam are present very near to Dhyanalinga, which is the main attraction. Brahmaputra and Shivapadam are located little far away from Dhyanalinga. Brahmaputra is located around 1 to 1.5 km from Dhyanalinga and Shivapadam cottages are located around 2 to 3 km from Dhyanalinga. Isha has the facility of battery cars which you can use to commute inside ashram from cottages to Dhyanalinga, Suryakun, Chandrakun, Biksha Hall and Welcome Point. If you are going to stay in Brahmaputra, you can use these battery cars to commute from cottages to ashram. If you are staying in Shivapadam cottages, you cannot use this battery car facility because Shivapadam cottages are located little far from ashram. Isha provides bus service every 30 minutes which you can use to go inside the ashram from the cottages. Now let's discuss about the facilities inside Isha ashram. The main facility inside ashram is Isha Regeneration Center. This Isha Regeneration Center is like Ayurvedic hospital where you can get treatment for any kind of health issue you have. The next facility is Isha conducts free yoga classes every half an hour near Linga Bhairavi. You can avail these yoga classes also. The ashram also has two stores where you can buy all kind of Isha products. When you stay inside ashram, you should not miss Nada Aradhana which happens twice a day in Dhyanalinga for 20 minutes at 11.50 am and 5.50 pm. When you stay in Isha, you can visit Dhyanalinga, Lingabhairavi, Suryakun, Chandrakun and Aryogi statue without any restrictions. Now let's discuss about food options inside ashram. Isha provides free meals in Biksha Hall for people who are staying inside Ashram. The Biksha Hall timings are from morning 10 o'clock to 11.30 and evening 7 o'clock to 8.30. The meals in Biksha Hall are served for free using the donations. Along with this, there is a small cafeteria present at the Dhyanalinga entrance point where the food is really tasty. There is also a small restaurant at the main entrance of Isha Center where you can get all types of vegetarian food. Now I have few tips regarding cottage booking and stay. Plan your stay so that you book the cottage either in Nalanda, Nadi or Alayam cottages because they are very near to the main ashram. 
if these three quarters are not available for your dates try to book in brahmaputra because this brahmaputra cottage has a very good view of vellangiri hills and it is also not that much far from main ashram try to avoid booking in shivapadam cottages because they are very far and you need to wait for the bus every time you want to go inside ashram tip number 2 Biksha Hall serves food in three batches. During first two batches alone, they will come and serve food to you. In third batch, we need to stand in queue and get our food. So try to be at Biksha Hall during the first two batches timings, which is 9:50 a.m. and 10:30 a.m. during morning, and 6:50 p.m. and 7:30 p.m. during evening. So plan a visit to this peaceful place. I'm definitely sure that you will be amazed how well organized this ashram is which is majorly running on the concept of volunteering. I'll come back with another video about another place. Until then, happy traveling.